Hi, this is Manuel Delta Lima 2 Mike Alpha November. Welcome back to my channel and welcome in the middle of nowhere. We are in the valley here that is so remote, as remote as it gets in Germany, that there's no cell phone coverage. And the valley is very steep. Um, behind me, uh, it goes up like 30 to 50 meters. And behind the camera, it's about the same situation. So we are sitting below the surrounding terrain about 30 to 50 meters and only in those two directions um, there's this, this cut in the terrain, you know, and I'm going to elevate the antenna here just to demonstrate a point um, that Envis is actually radiating upwards and we are still getting coverage uh, in the area around us. That's the point about this location. The other point why I'm here, the reason for that video is to show you my kind of winter setup. I've prepared a little bit uh, of goodies for you. Um, for one, I have uh, Delta Lima 1, Delta November's new pole holder that you can drive on with your car and make setup pretty easy. And while I'm at it, I've rebuilt the Uniform 01 antenna, the QO version. Uh, since it was very bad weather here the last days, I did it indoors just by by duplicating an antenna I had. I'm, I'm really excited to see if that's an appropriate method to duplicate an antenna. Okay, so let's jump into it. So let's have a look around so you can see what I mean. This is the valley. The car is the other side of the hill, the other side of the valley, and this is the only direction I can go. And there we are again where we started. Okay, this is a terrain cut, as you can see, provided by geoportal.bayern.de. Um, a LiDAR measurement actually. And I made a cut through that terrain. This is the valley where I was. And as you can see, the, the top here is round about 450, 448 meters. The other side here is round about 455 up to and more if we go more south. And the valley is round about 407 meters. So there's a difference between 35 to 40 meters where the valley ground is lower than the surrounding country uh, terrain. This is where uh, the antenna was set up in from from west to east and the terrain cut so you can see the elevation differences is from north to south roughly. So this is the setup. I'm going to drive on um, with my car onto this platform by deal one the end. And then I'm screwing this there and we should be ready to go. Let's see. Okay, so before we get to the measurement part, this is the elevated antenna. Let's have a, a look into the details that I've changed in this version. First of all, I've changed the connector to BNC for maximum compatibility to other OMs because I was the only one using the SMA. And whenever you're in the field having a problem and ask somebody, hey, do you happen to have an SMA connector? Everybody says no. So. This is a BNC version. I've reprinted the cover for maximum visibility in the field. So you don't ac accidentally run into that. You get a decent warning. Hey, look, there is something you need to watch out for. 
I did the same thing with the end insulators and of course with the connection uh, spaces then this is glued on and yeah the wire is no longer ultralight it's FL um, because it's a little bit more robust and has a little bit more conductivity I don't know what effect this has we will see so we have a dip at 7.05 just as expected 14.07 it's a little bit on the high side here and 28 one one okay so in the upper portion there seems to be a little bit uh, i've seen that before i'm going to save that so i can show you very detailed curve for the video now i'm plugging uh, the antenna to the 60 meter section repeating the measurement and then i'll be back I need to go with Marco 1, 2. Yeah, perfect. It's a perfect dip on 60 meter bend. I'm going to save the curve for you to show later. Now I'm connecting that thing for 80 meter bend and do the measurement again. And then I'm trying to make a test QSO on 60 meter bend to show you the endless capabilities. Okay. Now let's have a look. Yeah, perfect. The resonance is in the CW portion. Then going to save that so I can show you a detailed graph later. Now I'm going to undo that, um, prepare my transceiver, and we will try to have a QSO on 60 meter. <laughs> Ja, DC 6 n DL2 mal in Portabel. Norbert, grüß dich. Manuel, aber der, der auf die Worten Charlie hat, Mikrofon zum Helmut. Ja, okay, der ist vor immer in Portabel. Grüß dich, Manuel, die Kassecke, der hat der Julia 5 und 3, 5 und 5, das ist ja noch ein Papier, das ist Manuel, habe ich Ehre. Jetzt habt ihr gerade ein bisschen gedoppelt, Manuel und Helmut. Ähm, äh, Manuel, 5 und 7 geht sehr gut. Du bist bei mir stellen als lauter als der Helmut sogar. Ähm, Maike mal zu, zu dir, Manuel. Die zu immer in Portabel für die Runde hier, der 5 Romeo Delta Oscar. Ja, so verliert man seinen qso partner ja, entschuldige bitte, Delta Mike 4, India Mike, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November, Portable. Ähm, nachdem ich das auf 5363 angezettelt hatte, habe ich gedacht, während du nach unten schaust, schaue ich mal nach oben und wurde gerufen von meinen OV-Kameraden, weil das hier ist ein Test für YouTube. Ähm, in die Runde, Delta Mike 4, India Mike, ähm, wir hatten gerade ein QSO 1 Kilohertz tiefer und äh, er hat eine freie Frequenz gesucht. Vielleicht lassen wir den Martin aus Weinheim kurz sprechen. Ja, alles gut, alles gut. Mach hier mal weiter. Ich kann dich sowieso nicht so toll hören, aber vielleicht finde ich im Laufe des Gesprächs raus, was ihr da mit dem YouTube-Video macht. Ne? Okay, also mach mal weiter, Delta Mike, hier in der Mike. Und Punktlandung, also wie immer, denn Thomas, seine Maße sind so dermaßen gut, das muss man ihm wirklich lassen. Ähm, Chapeau, Thomas, falls du zuhörst, DJ5RE. <lacht> Ähm, fantastische Sache und wie gesagt, das war jetzt das große Finale, die Demo hier aus dem Tal raus und dann packe ich auch zusammen und schaue, dass ich nach Hause komme. Ja, äh, dann gehen wir das Mikrofon mal, der Dieter ist draußen, Norbert, der Helmut ist dann dran, äh, DK6 in J, die Runde DL2 immer in. Und äh, wie schnell plötzlich alle da waren, ich habe es gehört und äh, habe auch gleich darüber geschaltet. Ne? Ja, das also, Helmut und Norbert, die Call for Help an der Media, die kann ich auch mal wer an der Lärm. Das ist Community für uns, das ist Community. Ja, Helmut. Vielen Dank. Äh, 73 und dann packe ich auch zusammen. Norbert hat sich schon rausgezwickt, dann das Mikrofon noch kurz zum Heinz. DL2 RDT, die Runde DL2 mein Portable. Ah, danke, Manuel. Ich habe ja QRM 
alles neu und das Fernsignal ist gerade mit 9 plus 10, äh, 5, 9 plus 10, das geht ganz gut jetzt, ne? Da sitze ich und äh, bin gespannt auf Video. Herzlichen Dank an den gesamten OV, vielen, vielen Dank fürs Reinkommen. 73 und bis demnächst. Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November, Portable QRT. This is Google Maps. And this was roughly my location here. This was the valley. And you can see uh, some of the stations were north of me. So there, there was definitely something in the way. Um, and this is one of the, this was uh, GL5 RDO, west of Nuremberg. Then we had one QSO in this region, Weinheim, um, to Delta Mike 4, India Mike. Um, as you can see, that's uh, those were planned, those were local club members, and this was this happened on band as it happens, you know. So you can see we are covering quite a lot area. And by the way, there was one QSO to France. I don't know where exactly uh, he was. Uh, Fox uh, Delta Lima 6 Golf Charlie Alpha Portable, a SOTA station. So also it reached out to France. As you can see, even though I was sitting in a valley, I had a, a coverage uh, of a wide area. Um, would be exciting to see what could have happened in the north-south direction. But I'm sure I, I could have uh, managed to make some more QSOs. Uh, the problem was simply there was no uh, stations present. I mean, you can clearly see that the north direction uh, was also covered by reflection uh, through the sky. So absolutely no point. You can see it works. Delta Mike 4, India Mike. I had a QSO with today, you saw in this video. and. He asked me basically some para parameters about the antenna, how I have set it up, and offered to simulate uh, the radiation pattern of it, and this is the result of it. Thank you, Martin. Thank you very much. Much uh, appreciated. As you can see, it clearly radiates uh, up in the sky, and he mentions in his email that we are getting a real, sorry, a, a gain of 7 dB over real ground uh, into into the upper direction. So the theory seems to confirm what we have figured out in practice. Great. Here's another view of a graph that Martin has provided. Uh, this is uh, 80, 60 and 40 in comparison. And you can see the different planes and the clear radiation pattern that is uh, more pronounced towards the, yeah, towards the sky as it should be, as it was intended by Tom. Thanks again, Martin. Uh, really appreciate it and hope to hear you on band soon, 73. Okay, friends, that sums it up for today. Um, the uniform on O1 antenna is a constant workhorse, even so, though I, I duplicated it with crude methods just by copying side by side an existing antenna, it worked on very first trial. Um, as you can see, perfectly for Envis. Remember, valley. Um, we had QSOs up to 300 kilometers and very nearby, which should not be possible uh, on the uh, ground wave because we are in a valley. And if you ask yourself why you can hear me so good, I've invested in a um, wireless microphone because I was annoyed about all the bad audio. And I hope this improves it. And your capability of listening to me. So I will uh, unmount everything and we'll head home and say thank you and see you next time. Bye bye 73.